We continue now at the top of Daf Zayin Amid Beis and Maseches Ksubis. This is Ksubis Daf Seven B. The Gemara continues. Meisa, we have a question from the following Brisa. Mevorchin lebesula shiva. It says you do the shava brachas for a besula for seven days. Well, the almana yom echad, and when an almana gets married, it's for one day. And so the Gemara says, my love doesn't it mean to say afilu almana shenis is lebacher? Even if this almana, if this widow married a bacher, a person, who, the the man was not a widower, and so therefore in all situations it means to say an almana is yom echad. We said before that's not the case. We said by a bacher would be seven, and the Gemara says, "Lo, no, li almon." It's talking about specifically an almon marrying an almona. Avul a bacher, but if the almona marries a bacher, my, what would be the alacha shiva? That would also be seven days. But if that's the case, it should have said that. Yachi, if so, listening, then the brisa should have said as follows: Mevarchin the besula shiva uli almona shenis as lebacher shiva. When it comes to a besula, it's seven days. When it comes to an almona who marries a bacher, it's seven days. Uli almona yom echad, and for an almona, it's one day. And so, why didn't the brisa say it that way? And so the Gemara answers, Milsa Psikta Katani. No, the Brisa wants to say something across the board. The lack of Basula de Batsumi Shiva, you're never going to have a situation of a Basula that it's less than seven days. Veleko Almana de Batsumi Mio Mechad. You'll never have an Almana that it is less than one day. Rashi over here says, Mevarchan the Basula Shiva, the Kamon Mefarish. The Gemara is going to explain later on, Keshabo Panim Chadoshos, Mevarich Kulon Kolyame Amishta, that if you have new people, new guests that are coming, then you make all the brachas all the days. Velo, and if not, Mevarich Chad, then you're just going to Make one. And the Gemara continues at the two dots, Gufa referring to what we said above. Amar of Nachman of Nachman said, Amar le Huna bar Nasan, Huna bar Nasan said to me, Tana was taught, Minayin lebirchas chasan and basar. Where's the source that we, when we do this Shavah brachas, we do it with ten people? Shanamar, like the Pasuk says, Vayika chasara anoshim mizik neoir. Again, talking about with Boaz and Rus, he took ten people from the elders of the city, Vayomer Shavupo, and he said, Sit over here. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Avo Amar Mehacha. Rabbi Avo has a different source from the following. It says, Makelos Barchu Elokim Hashem Imekor Yisrael. And Rashi over here explains the drasha, Makelos Barchu Elokim Hashem Imekor Yisrael, Al Birchas Makor. It means to say the bracha of the Makor, of the source. Tzarech Kal requires a congregation. Vahainu Asar, and a congregation is 10 people. Kimo Hakel Aso Edo, like Hakel Vein Hakel Bepachos Me Edo, Ve Edo Asar, Kedi Alfin. And again, it's learned out from various Gzera Shavas. Me Adas Merah. Raglim, that's learned out from the Adas Maraglim. Ad Masai La Edo Hara, Yatsu Yoshua Vakalev. Again, you don't count Yoshua and Kalev in terms of the numbers. It's the Edo Hara, so that's a total of 10 people, 10 spies. And so the idea is Birchas Mekor, when you're making this bracha on the source, talking about the union between a husband and a wife, so then there should be 10 people. And the Gemara continues, Verav Nachman Bahai Krod, Rabbi Avo, my Darish Bey. Now, what does Rav Nachman do with this Pasuk over here of Bimakelos Barachel, Akim Hashem, and Makor Yisrael? Again, Rabbi Avo is looking at the Makor as referring to the fact of the act of relations of the source of Israel. So what does Rav Nachman do with that Pasuk? And the Gemara answers me, boy, lay the he, he uses it for the following Brisa. The Brisa says, Hayer Rabbi Meir, Omer, that Rabbi Meir would say, Minayin shafilu ubrim iman. How do we know that even the fetuses in the wombs, Amru Shiral Hayam, that they also, they sang Shiral Hayam. Shanamar, like the Pasuk says, Bimakelos Baruch Elohim Hashem Imakor Yisrael. That's the idea of the source of Israel, meaning even those in the womb, in the source, they also, they also sang Shira. And the Gemara continues, Ve'idach, the other one will respond, Im Cain, if that were the case, it should actually say the language of mi uh, again meaning from the belly. My mi makor. What does it mean mi makor? Al iske makor. It means the happenings of the makor, meaning to say it's referring specifically to the act of relations, to the act of marriage, and therefore the pasuk is referring to what we said in terms of shav brachas. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Avo, Bahai Krod, Rav Nachman, my Darish Bey. Now, what does Rabbi Avo? What does he do with the pasuk of Rav Nachman, meaning by Boaz and, Ru- and Rus? And so the Gemara says, Ahumi boile le midrash. No, that was a different thing. It was to say the following drasha. He gathered the ten people together because he wanted to publicize the following halacha. Nothing to do with the idea that you need ten people by Yeshava brachas, but he was publicizing in front of ten people the following halacha. Amoni velo amonis, moavi velo moavis. The prohibition of marrying an amoni is only by the males, not by the females, and the same by moavi, and therefore there's no problem for him to marry Rus because she was a moavis. And the Gemara continues, because if you think this pasuk is referring to the bracha like we're saying of the Sheva brachas, do you think that they have to be elders? Why are you gathering elders? It must be to issue a halachic ruling. 
And the Gemara continues, V'idach, the other responds to that, Yisak Adaytach Lamedrish, if it's just to issue a, a ruling, Lo Sagi Delava, sorry, you need 10 people for a ruling. So the Gemara says, In yes, Le Persume Mil, so sometimes you want to publicize a halachic ruling, Uchid Amr Le Shmuel Rav Chanan Begadeto, like Shmuel said to Rav Chanan Begadeto, Pok Vaisili Beasar, he said, Go get 10 people. Ve'em Alach Ban Payu, and I'll say in front of them, Halacha, Ha Mezake Le Uberkan, if somebody's Mezake is something to a fetus, that can be an acquisition. Ve'ilchasa, and the Gemara comments, that the halach is hamazakel uber lokana. That actually, if somebody is mazakel something to a fetus, there is no kinyan in that case. And we'll take a look at a few Rashi's over here. Bagadeto is Ir Shabavil, that's a city in Bavil, Ushma Bagadeto, that's Baghdad. And Rashi continues, continues, Again, you're giving a matana to somebody else that he should acquire it on behalf of the Uber for the Uber for the fetus. Shebimei Imo, that's in the womb, Kone, that is going to be an acquisition. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Tanu Rabbon and the rabbis taught, Mevorchen Birchas Chasanim, this Birchas Chasanim that we're talking about, the Sheva Brachas, where do we make it? We make it Bebeis Chasanim. We make it in the house of the Chasan. And Rashi over here says, Bebeis Chasanim, Kishenichnasal Chupas Nisu, and it means to say that it's at the time of the chuppah, when we enter the Nisuin process, that's when we, that's when we make the birchas chasanim. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Yehuda, Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says, Afeve so Eresin mevarchen osa. No, even at the time of Eresin, that's also a time uh, to make the birchas chasanim. As Rashi says, Afeve so Eresin, even in the house of the Eresin, of the betrothal, Kishemekadshem, meaning at the time of the Kiddushin, mevarchen kol birchas chasanim kid mefarish. We make this bracha, the birchas chasanim, as will be explained according to, according to Rabbi Yehuda. And the Gemara explains, Omer Abaya, Abaya says, when Rabbi Yehuda says, Afeve so Eresin mevarchen osa, what he means to say is Uvi Yehuda Shani, Uvi Yehuda Shanu. This was actually in the land of Yehuda. Why? Because it happens to be that in Yehuda, even already from the time of Arison, they would go into seclusion with one another. And the Gemara continues, Tanya Yidach, we learned another b'raisim, Mevorchen Birchas Chasanim, Bebeis Chasanim, you make the Birchas Chasanim in the house of the Chasanim, U Birchas Eresin, Bebeis HaErison, and there's a bracha of Eresin in the house of Eresin. In other words, there's a different bracha by Eresin. And the Gemara says, Birchas HaErison, Maim Mevorch, what exactly is the bracha of Eresin? Ravin Baravada, Varava Baravada, Tarvayu Mishmeid Rav Yehuda Amri. Gemara says, Ravin the son of Ravada, and Rav the son of Ravada, they both said in the name of Rav Yehuda as follows, here's the bracha that you make on Eresin. We're instructed on Arayos. Arusos are prohibited. Nesuos are permitted through Chup and Kiddushin. Rav Acha b'rei the Rav Messiah b'mishmei the Rav Yehuda. Rav Acha the son of Rav would conclude the bracha in the name of Rav Yehuda as follows: Baruch Ato Hashem Mekadesh Yisrael Al Yedei Chup of Kiddushin. That's how he would finish the bracha. And the Gemara notes Mandelo Chosim. Now the one who says there is no finishing off of the bracha in this fashion. Midi dahavi abirchas peros vabirchas mitzvahs. It's similar to the bracha you make on fruits, the bracha you make on mitzvahs. You don't finish off with a baracha to Hashem at the end. There's no chasima. Uman the chasim and the one who says there is a chasima. Midi dahavi akidusha. So that's comparable to Kiddush where we do say that there's a chasima at the end of the bracha. And Rashi over here says, Amar Abaye Abaye says, Uv Yehuda Shanu Hod Rabbi Yehuda Bi Yehuda Shanu, meaning Rabbi Yehuda's teaching is in the land of Yehuda. Shemesiach Erima Be'erisin Kadeshi Libo Gaspa because it happened to be in Yehuda, even at the time of Erezin, they went into seclusion with one another, Kedil Kamon, like we'll say later on, Lafikach Mevorchen Birchas Chasanim Mitchila, that's why they already made the Birchas Chasanim from the, in the first place. The Tanya Meseches Kala, Kala below Brocha, Asur Labala Kanida, because we say, the Kala without a Brocha would be totally Asur, so here they're already having Yichud, so we made the Brocha. And then the Gemara wanted to know, what's the Brocha? And Erezin, Vyosur Lano Esa Arusas Midrabonon, now Arusas are prohibited Midrabonon until the time of Nesuin, Shagazral Ayichud Shal Pnuya, they said that by a Pnuya there's a Gezer by an Arus also, you need to have Chup and Bracha to be permitted. Kala below Bracha, like we said, a Kala without a Bracha is also to Rosman, Kanida like Anida. And even though it's only Durabonan, you can make a Bracha on a Durabonan. And you can even say, Like by Nir we make a Bracha. Even though it's not a Do so we can still say, Vitzivanu. Again, through Chup and Kiddushin, that's how it becomes permitted. A birchas peros bore prio eitz by bore prio eitz. Of course, there's no chasima. Birchas mitzvahs al ashkita v'al amila dekem in the kula chada hodah. He since it's all one hodah. Vein hefsek b'akasha bein time. There's no request. There's no interruption for request between them. So lo boy chasima. There's no need for a chasima. Kedamar bar v'psachim like it says in our v'psachim birchas al mitzvahs time amai mishum hodah he onami kula hodah he. But the other point of view is 
Midi they have a Kedusha. It's like Kedusha. Kevin the Veloshim Kedusha Kedush Hayom Chasminan Ba Kihasam. Since there's a language of of Kiddush of sanctification over here as well, so it's like Kiddush. Devahi Chasminan. There also there's a Chasim and Mishum the Yesh Bo Hefsik because there is a little of an interruption in the middle of Kiddush. Kegon Kiyu Yom Tchilol Mikray Kodesh. When we say Kiddush Friday night, you say Kiyu Yom Tchilol Mikray Kodesh. So those interrupting phrases, therefore, those are required. Those require that there be Chasima as well. And the Gemara continues that the two dots. Tanu Rabbon and the Rabbis taught Mevorchin Birchas Chasan and Basara Kol Shiv. Again, like we said, for seven days you do Sheva Brachas with ten people. Amar Rav Yudah Rav Yudah says Vushabo Panim Chadashes. That only applies if there's new people that are there. If there are new guests. And the Gemara says, "My mevarich, what bracha do you make?" Amar Rav Yudah Rav Yudah says, "Baracha to Hashem Elokeinu Melech Olam." We'll take a look at Rashi Vushabo La Mishta Panim Chadashes Bechol Yom Shelo Hayu Sham Esmo. They have to be new people there every day who weren't there the day before. And Rashi continues, "My mevarich, what are the Sheva Brachas?" Some Rav Yehuda Vechulu, and again Rav Yehuda will go on to list the Sheva Brachas. And Rashi notes near Beena, it appears to me, say their Brachas in Israel Iske Hazug. When we're talking about the Brachas that refer to the fact that this couple is coming together, Einu Ela Me'asher Yotzer. That really only starts from the bracha of Asher Yatzer and onward. That's the bracha that starts referring to both the husband and the wife. Asher Yatzer is Adam Adabra Bezachar. The phrase Asher Yatzer so Adam is talking about the male. And we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Dafches Amud Aleph.